Hello, hello, what's up? Welcome back. It's time for another stream and <laughs> live. We do have some news. A while ago, DICE announced that they were going to try Breakthrough and Rush that they switch sides after each round. I, for one, thought this was a good idea. I mean, I like the concept of you play attacker and then you play defender, especially as the matchmaking has had a little bit issues with this. You could play like four, five, six, even seven rounds in a row where you're always defender. So they fixed this and they were very precise already from the start. They were like, you want this. Remember, it's your choice. It's your fault. And it worked like shit. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's absolute mess. It's completely... Yeah, that's the button. It, it didn't work at all. Uh, you ended up in a queue and you got into a server where there was a handful of players left and you had to play bots for another game. And I mean, DICE watched this in the statistics and they were like, well, you wanted this. We tried it. It didn't work. We did, did this because of your fault and now you're angry with us. So now we revert it. Yeah. The thing is, the following discussion on Twitter, and I totally agree. I think I saw the right data, but draw the wrong conclusions. You see all this data, and then for some reason you can't interpret it as it is. Maybe your starting conception was wrong, or maybe you didn't think this was an issue, which I'm going to talk about right now, because the, there are two problems. One is, of course, the community, that uh, some people don't want to play defenders, some people don't want to do, oh, I got, we got overrun last round. Yeah, I don't want to play another round with this team. Sure, they do exist. But even if we are in a winning team and I mean, people don't stay. The the other issue, the big issue, the thing that I think they should fix. And actually, I think they should fix it regardless. I think this is a proper problem. I'm going to show it and it's the end of round screen. Whoosh. There we go. This is what I came up with. So this is the end of round screen. What you see now is it starts to show the numbers and stuff. And I'm actually just going to play it. Here you see most revives. Uh, and it's not loading the player for whatever. Most of the captured. Most keys. I mean, it always shows this like free top player. And they use something like this. So. So far, I think it's okay. I mean... And it shows some highlights. It shows how the pl squad placed. But I mean, it's, it's uh, I think in this screen, especially C squad place is actually quite nice. And obviously you want to be at top, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> so far, so good. I, I can't really complain about this, actually. How? Now we come into the like where the issue starts. So we get to this screen where it combines or calculates the score that you get. And here you actually have return to menu and you have the continue button. If you don't want to wait for it to tick up all the way, you can just press continue. And so it shows everything and it starts to count all the points. And you get some points earned. You've been promoted. Yay. And then it goes on to the next one. You can actually skip this all, but just by just clicking continue, uh, that's fine. So far, I think it's good as well. Now we get to the real problem. So we get to the battle pass progression. And now you look in the right corner. There is no continue. There is only the return to menu. Some click return to the menu because they think they, you don't get past this one. Some click because they are impatient. And some click because they don't want to switch team and whatever. Or switch sides, sorry. And it starts to count and it starts to show things. And I mean, now it's nothing to see. I don't know. It count. It increased the dots with three. And we're just waiting. I'm actually, I have, I have pressed play. We are literally waiting. And there we go. Now something happens. And we're waiting some more. And my computer is fairly quick one, by the way. I, I paused this screen. So, I mean, this is not the power of the computer issue. This is waiting, just waiting. And here we go. So now we get into this screen. We can actually do stuff using the collection. We can do stuff looking at the battle pass, the weekly missions and whatever, whatnot. I mean, 
So this is the first useful screen, and usually, at least I want to get here as soon as possible. As soon as it's calculated the points, I want to get here. But there is no way to do that except going return to menu, and then you break the switch side thing. And you know what? Once we get here, we do even more waiting, because now we wait for matchmaking in this case. So it's not switching side in this scenario, but it could have been switching side. And We'd go straight to the like waiting for player screen. Now we have spent about one minute and 10 seconds already since the round stopped. We didn't start really from about say 130, one minute 30 seconds. Yes. And we went for an hour 30 seconds. And I'm going to fast forward this because I'm an impatient guy. And that's the, of course the real problem is that I am impatient. But in this scenario, I can actually do stuff. Now it starts doing matchmaking. So now we do even more waiting. <laughs> and I mean, oh my lord. <laughs> uh, we fast forward a little bit. Yeah, that's about 15 seconds forward. And we do stand by, even more waiting. And we go another 15 seconds. And we actually, oh, I'm actually going to see. We go straight from standby. Oh, no, no, of course. We go to this Hitman squad and starting in five seconds. Now, the issue here is also, of course, that in this case, there is enough players to actually start it. But sometimes you get into the lobby and you have to wait for more players. And that is what happens when you do actually switch in sides because it takes time for everyone to get there and some left and so on. So then it will actually take even more. But once everyone is there, you will get this starting in five seconds and you get this screen showing your team. Or squad and now we get the loading screen da -da 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 -da. so i mean it's a whole lot of steps and now we can actually start to do things and so now it's a uh, uh, yeah 237 in in this clip but you should probably add a little bit so it takes almost three minutes to get to a new round. And I, I don't like it. And this is actually not including the spawn time. You could almost count four minutes to get into a new game. And I have to tell you, I, I played Overwatch before. Uh, I mean, I used to do that uh, years ago. I like the ranked, uh, how, how Overwatch does it, but I'm so frustrated of waiting. I mean, if I have to wait 10, 15 minutes, I don't want to play the game. Uh, in this case, I have to wait four minutes, which is really pushing my boundaries. Yes, yeah, sure, there, there is this issue of people don't want to switch sides or whatever, but I think at least the main issue is this, the entire end of round screen. The good thing is that uh, they, they actually asked for input about it, so... Twitter is gold at this time, talking with dice devs. I mean, you never know if it's something that happens when or whatever, but uh, I think it's fairly good that they start somewhere.